everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining me. I'm so happy you're here because you are awesome and you make lots of people's days better, just so you know. Well, today we're gonna talk about Kira, obviously because she's a dink, right? But Oscar released a video too, and the juxtaposition between the two videos is gonna piss you off. You know, on one side you've got Oscar telling the truth about the, the shit he's been going through, and then you got Hannah on the other side drinking and laughing and talking about drama and threesomes and everything else. One of them is living authentically. Okay, one of them did find themselves and one of them found themselves You know in a dark place. The other one is also in a dark place, but is pretending that she's not in a dark place It's pretty gross what Kira's doing. Let's talk about it Provide them so much comfort, so much joy. I truly miss them so much that even when they're gone, I still sleep here because it provides that feeling of um, being with them. <laughs> Let's get this drama started, shall we? Well, I've been trying to force posit positivity for a while now. Because <laughs> I've literally just been doing that, sitting, questioning everything, feeling like I'm in this dark. Oh, like. I currently have one day until I get my boob surgery. You had been lying to yourself the whole time. You weren't okay at all. But you weren't dealing with the root cause of the problems. And so there you go. I just put a couple clips together about what she's been doing against contrasting that with what Oscar's dealing with right now. Oscar's video was heartbreaking. It was brilliantly edited and put together too, which is how you know that Oscar is the one that made them famous. His skills, his ideas, his aesthetic and everything else was what made their videos good. You got Kira over here doing her video, which we're going to snark on in a minute, which is just bullshit. You got Presticles behind the camera because for some reason she doesn't want to show his face. Like for what reason? We know who it is, you dumbass. I don't understand it. What is the difference between his voice being on camera and his face being on camera? What's the damn difference? I mean, she's doing it. I think she says she does it to piss people off, right? She wants to create drama and everything else. She wants the smoke. Kira loves it, right? But eventually the smoke and the drama is going to dissipate and you're, she's going to be left with nothing. Right now, all she's holding on to is drama. That's it. She is she survives by hate watches. And I took a look at her social blade, and it's less than last month she lost two more she lost two thousand more subscribers on her channel. Now again, that is eight hundred thousand subscribers on her channel. If you are losing subscribers, that's terrible. It means that you're more than losing. And I've said this a million times. If you have eight hundred thousand subscribers, you should be jumping up by tens of thousands a week. That's how that should be working. But if you're not jumping by tens of thousands and you're losing thousands, it means you're losing tens of thousands of subscribers and potential subscribers because nobody wants to watch your shit because you're an asshole and a terrible person. And your fiance is the same. He's a dickweed. Okay. Nobody likes you, Kira. They used to. And that's very telling. And you're like, why don't people like me? Look at your like count on your videos, Kira. You, of course you disable comments because you're a damn coward, but... I mean, that's why I do my video. People come over here and comment on it. People go to Reddit and comment on it. Why don't you just let them comment on the videos below? Why are you so scared? Right? But 2,001 downvotes for 1.7 thousand upvotes, you are being ratioed into oblivion. This is a death knell for channels. I think rightfully so. People think that leaving a uh, thumbs down is engagement and leaving a negative comment is engagement. You are right. But if every video on a channel is being ratioed like Alicia from Dockery Dozen, and hers are being double or triple ratioed, okay? If you're being ratioed in every video, YouTube will remove you from the algorithm, right? They will not put your shit in front of people's eyes. So if you really want to see a channel go down, you gotta, they have to be ratioed like this. You look at um, Colleen Ballinger, you want to see a ratio? Get ready. This is her last video. It's 13 million views. She made tons. I don't know if she monetized it, but if she did, she made a lot of money. 134,000 upvotes for 1.7 million downvotes. Okay. That's crazy. Now, it's her, all of her videos aren't like that, so it won't really hit her that hard, right? Now, quickly, I want to take a look at Oscar's video, but I'm going to give him the view. It's trending on my top thing here. Oh, 
baby. Oh, and it feels good. The thing that's pissing me off the most, I think, is what a lot of people are pissed off, <laughs> getting really mad about. Oscar rolls into his apartment with basically nothing in it. The guy is like working hard, getting his real estate license. He's closing a couple deals. He's making some money already. Not tons, but he's getting there. And if he continues that way and he continues to be the person he is, he will be a highly successful real estate agent, right? Probably own his own brokerage in the future. He'll do well. But what make, what make people angry is that he comes on his video after months of taking a break and getting himself better and or whatever, working hard to make to make ends meet and everything else, while Kira's on the other side going to Vegas every two weeks, having threesomes with Preston, getting hammered all the time, buying fake tits and everything else, and just living living large. When she is not going to be able to continue, Oscar is the complete polar opposite of of Kira. It does he's not spending tons of money on a house. He's just looking for something normal to live in. But if you look at it, the difference is that he walks into an empty place and it just doesn't even look like he lives there. It looks like he just crashes there when he can. It's so damn sad. And that makes people so mad at Kira, rightfully so, because, she, like, I know she didn't have to stay with him. You don't stay, I understand people saying, oh, I don't want to stay somewhere where I'm not happy. But I don't think that was the case. And I'll say this again. I think that she was cheating and she had an ultimatum given to her and she just had to throw it away. Otherwise, she would have just kept going with what she was doing because they were making bank. These people were making money hand over fist on OK Baby. I'm telling you, hundreds of thousands a month they were making at their peak. Hey, they were making huge dollars, okay? And so I think this, there's no way that Kira would have thrown a lot away for what she's doing now, right? And people and, and, and then lying to everybody about finding herself because she was cheating. That's it. That's all there was to it. And so people are angry because Oscar's over here telling the truth and she's over there living debaucherous a debaucherous lifestyle. And that's what this video is for. Time for a massive update. Let's just begin right where we left. His edits are brilliant. So when he goes like this, puts his hands down, he'll move the camera and then do that again. That's brilliant, man. He's good. At it. He's very good at this. If Oscar doesn't make it in real estate, he will have a massive career editing people's YouTube videos and, and doing content creation. I thought, which what? Your cousin leaving. Robert. Okay, I'm not gonna get in too much into the whole thing, but I'm gonna go and skip to the part that's like really, really hitting people and making people really angry. At, at, uh, all right, Kira. But the thing that really gets you, that should make you happy, is he's got 94,000 views on this, and she's got something like what? So she was, re she released hers a lot. She only has 54,000 views. Okay, and he's already got almost 100,000 views. He's gonna explode on this, right? He's gonna make. If Oscar really wanted to continue on this, he will. He'll go. And look at her down, again, look at the down vote ratio. 5.2 thousand down votes for 1.7 thousand up votes. That is a huge ratio, people. Keep doing that. This is how angry people are at Kira. You had your little ones, but you had already felt like you let them down because of what happened. And this is what should make you fing angry, okay? Oscar feels like he let his children down when Oscar's not the one who let his fing children down. This isn't Oscar's fault. This is Kira's fault. And now that we know what we know, it's a hundred percent Kira's fault. Oscar wasn't interested in Oscar wasn't interested in uh, breaking up the marriage and throwing the family into and throwing the family into turmoil. He was not interested in that, as we've seen through all the things and the work he put in and everything else. Kira was interested in just finding herself in Preston's farts. That's what she was interested in. You cannot tell me that they weren't cheating. Can't. Because what you see here is a broken person and Kira doesn't understand and it's so crazy. Is that selfishness gets you nowhere. Nobody likes a selfish asshole. Nobody does. Okay? And Kira is a selfish asshole. You got Oscar on his channel over here blaming himself. And you know Kira won't correct him. You know she won't. But you didn't even feel worthy of being a parent. That feeling of isolation, it hit you hard and you spiraled into a really, really deep depression. I just don't know what happened. It started affecting everything in your life. So I'm not the most religious man, but I did go to church today. Yeah. And not only because a friend invited me out, I also want to find a feeling of belonging out here. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. My loneliness- Just don't go to a Mormon church. This has gotten the best of me. Provide them so much comfort, so much joy. I truthfully miss them so much that even when they're gone, I still sleep here because it provides that feeling of, um, As a dad, I couldn't even imagine not being able to be around my children, to be there for them every single day. Like, marriage is something you gotta take, like, family is something you take really serious. I know they weren't married, but basically, for all intents and purposes, they were married, 
Okay, that's what I'm saying. The family unit is something you take really, really seriously. If you're not prepared to not be a selfish twat, don't fucking have kids. Don't bring kids into toxic situations like you've created here, Kira. You're an asshole and you're making it worse. And that's why people are upset. And they should be upset. Oscar's over here sleeping in his children's, sleeping on the floor of his children's bedroom because it makes him feel connected to his children. Whose fault is this, everybody? I know some people will say, well, maybe it's Oscar's fault too. It's not Oscar's fault, everybody. It, this is all on Kira. Oscar didn't want any of this and was ready. They didn't even, here's the thing that, again, that pisses a lot of people off. Is that Kira's like, now I'm in therapy. Well, what are the f is therapy before? Why didn't you do that before you threw your family out? I don't get this woman. Oh my God. And you got, this is so sad. It's breaking my heart. Being with them. <laughs> oh my God. I've been trying to force posit positivity for a while now. The thoughts took a pretty dark turn. And you couldn't escape that feeling of being a victim of your own life. Because I've literally just been doing that, sitting, questioning everything, feeling like I'm in this dark oh, like place, man. And it, it, it's funny because I look around and I see color, but I've been feeling like I'm living through black and white. Now, I got to stop it there just because shit. You guys go watch it, okay? I, I don't want to take away from the, the, the view that Oscar's going to get from it. Go watch his channel. Go subscribe. Contrast that to this opening of this video. You see? You see the difference here? And this is why people are upset and you should be. You got Oscar over there living in darkness, he said, in black and white. He can't see colors. Sleeps on his kids' floors. He is collapsing and crashing down. And then you got douchebag over here with the other douchebag partying. Let's get this trauma started. Look at the f***ing corner of her kitchen. Look at this. Do you see that? Kira gets so angry, and you've seen a lot of people have posted this thing again about her mom and how she hates her mom's addiction issues and blah blah blah. She chose, she's how she chose addiction over her over her daughter, and she's so angry at her mom for that and blah blah blah. Look what the f you're doing. You've literally got cardboard boxes full of booze and booze on your counter. There are two people who live here. You have children that live here. What in the fresh hell is going on over here? What kind of parties are you having? Are you having orgies? I'm not, and I'm not saying that to be from Sarki. Are you guys like getting into some dangerous territory when children live at your house? Oscar, please do me a favor. Please, for the love of God, start taking your kids back 50% of the time. Do not relent on that and then get a lawyer ASAP. These kids have no business being here even 50% of the time. Kira is living in a dangerous situation. She's living in a place that is so it's so full of addiction, so full of money wasting, so full of exploitation, and so full of shittery that those kids have no business being there. I don't care. And yes, that's my trauma speaking from a child, okay? That is me speaking from if like that's my life. Seeing that shit on the counter and I'm and I guarantee you anybody else who grew up with alcoholic parents in really really terrible situations, seeing that scene right there, there and there, look at all that booze. Booze, booze, booze. If you walked into this in your kitchen as a child who grew up with an alcoholic, does that not trigger the shit out of you? And I know it's not her responsibility not to trigger me. I know it's, uh, it's my responsibility about how I deal with my triggers. I'm not offended. I'm just saying that's why I'm so angry at her. Why do you need 100 bottles of alcohol? It's two of you. How much are you drinking? Again, she gets so angry at her mom for the addiction issues. She's a. This looks like a full-blown alcoholic to me is what I'm saying. So yeah, her mom might have taken pills, but you drink. Both are addictions. Both are bad. She, it's like she, she, grew, she, went, she grew up with Oscar. After high school, they got together, and then she didn't really get to do what she really wanted. She looks like she's in sorority years. That, that has passed you by, Kira. You are a mother of four. You are not a sorority girl anymore. That shit's done. You, you, it's gone. But I feel like she's like the finding herself thing when she said, I'm trying to find myself. It's her just wanting to party because she feel like she missed out on things. And Preston is that guy who won't, who will like be like, let's go. Yo, he's in his party phase too. Oscar was done with the party phase and she couldn't do that with Oscar. That's what I'm thinking.
And again, you you just juxtapose these things together of her living over here in the house that she bought with Preston, getting married, you know, getting engagement rings, going partying, going to Vegas every year, going to California, going to Chicago, just living large, going everywhere, spending money, getting everything, buying new cars, everything. And you got Oscar over there working hard, li basically living alone in a in a in a two bedroom apartment, just sad as f that's why people hate you, Kira. That's why. So I'm not, I'm not gonna keep going back and forth, but let's- Question and you're gonna answer it truthfully and honestly, like as if we are in private talking, but keep the cuss words and the sexuality to a minimum, because well, Since when has that mattered? No. <laughs> it is not me. It's not you, eh? You literally have to sleep with multiple women to get off, dude. You are a piece of shit, Preston. I've answered this question in my last video, which I'll link down below, but I want to know what was your version of how our engagement happened? Don't mess it! Well, like, we were totally drunk, Kira. Uh, you should get this checked out, okay? I'm pretty sure at this point it's her piece. So maybe just figure it out. Don't kiss your children with it or anything. Don't spread that around, okay? Preston needs to get his taint checked. That shit is recurring. It ain't going away. You can spend fifteen thousand dollars on new t on new boobs. You get your nails done every other day. You get your hair done every two weeks. You can't take care of your herpes. Do it, please. Do I have to talk that loud? No. I got the ring and you know, I went to the jeweler and just got it. Like tell it to the jeweler at Costco. Okay. What I wanted, and she did it, and it took her forever. And so this is so cringy. Look at you, watching Kira just hear him. This is. Oh, I hate this person. Ugh! And it makes you even more mad, cause she's just faking it again. She, she again. They're both living in the same kind of turmoil. Kira knows her channel's falling apart. She knows shit's going south real quick. She thinks her wedding is gonna bring people to the yard. It's gonna bring a lot of hate watches. And it's gonna bring a lot of. It's, gonna, it's not gonna bring her what she wants. Even getting pregnant, not gonna bring you what you want. She knows it, but she has to fake it. But you know what you can't fake? The effects that that stress and that shit has on your body and your face. You can't fake that. Sorry. And look at you. I, Kira makes fun of me often for being 43, right? Calls me an old man, whatever. Disgusting old man. Kira, you look 10 years older than I do. Okay? And you're 26 or 27. Look at you. Look at the effects of your lifestyle on your body. Enjoy it. Look at this picture someone made. <laughs> so we were going out of town, and she called and said it was done a couple hours before we got we were going to get to the Airbnb. And so I basically told Kira, I was like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go stop by my work and get some baby wipes. I was not going to baby wipes. Vegas. When you're baby five, wipes. I'll meet you at the Airbnb. So you're not going to Vegas with, without baby wipes. What do you need baby? Like, I, I don't even know if I want to know. Okay, I don't even know. I'm not, you guys know me. I'm not the most experienced guy with all that stuff. Like, I don't even know if I want to know what you need baby wipes for. Is it for your taint? I don't know. I won't be longer than 15 minutes. So I literally went to my office, grabbed baby wipes, because I couldn't go get baby wipes and come back with no baby wipes. Oh, my God, Preston. So you had to actually go. I had to actually go to my office, got the ring. And Could you not? Oh, it's at the office. And I was like... Maybe I want to do it here. I don't want to do it in Vegas. Like, I'm either going to do it here or I'll figure out a place. Like, I wasn't going to do it where it didn't feel right. It was very, uh... Like I knew the whole time. This is so bad. Kirsten, you're, you're thinking, oh my God, these people are going to be like, this is how you did it. It's so magical. Like when you don't have that video on OK Baby, when you don't have that video over an OK Baby channel, when him proposing to you, that super professional looks like it was shot by a freaking shot by a Hollywood producer, like amazing. And this, and this is the other, yeah, I was like at the work and I was getting baby wipes and then the ring was, and I was like, okay, my God, I got to get back and get some baby wipes. And like, That's good. Good story, bro. I wanted to do it. It wasn't a matter of want. It was a matter of like when I was going to do it. Right after I got the ring, I did it. Like, how did you know that when you walked in, that was right? I Just don't know. seeing the. What is your hair doing? It's like cigarette butts. Location? Yeah, just seeing the room, you know, the vibe. Mind you, you guys. I saw the room and I got the vibe and I was like, that's where I'm going to do it, in the hotel room with the other girl that was waiting for the three So well, he's sitting there. I actually noticed he's sitting. So we're like on the couch of the Airbnb and he's on his phone and I'm on my phone too. I'm actually writing. This is so romantic. We're on our phones and he's like, babe, let's toast get married, yo. Okay. All right, let's go. Romantic much. Right? I know. Eh? It was like, mm, nah, that's pretty lame. Actually, that's pretty shitty. This is how 
sounds really bad, but a bad review of a nail salon. And I've only done a bad review of a place two times in my whole life, but they did such a bad job. So I have my foot up, I'm taking pictures of my toes, and I'm like telling him my bad experience at this nail salon. And he wasn't really- And he's like, well, that sounds like a good time to propose. She's leaving a bad review on Google for this nail salon who totes did her toes wrong. I'm absolutely going to propose now. There's no better magical moment I can think of. Oh my God. What are you thinking? What did you think people were gonna think of this? Which isn't like fiance. <laughs> so I was kind of, I did kind of notice like something was off. I didn't think engagement. I was just kind of. Okay there, Chinzits. You didn't, you knew what's coming. You probably told them to do it. Like, does he not care about my pedicure? Because that's weird. What would you have changed about it? I wish I would have gotten the ring sooner. Like I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to get the ring without her noticing or she was gonna look at my location. Yeah, I had no idea. I see a lot. Look at my location. What do you mean look at my location? <laughs> what? She knows, I would, I, you know what? I don't blame her for wanting to know your location there, Preston. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me get this right. So the engagement happened because you were taking pictures of your toes to leave a bad review? That's how you propose? What? That question, I've answered it in my last video, but I definitely had no idea. What type of wedding cake? So, th 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 did you get on one knee? What'd you do? Where where's the proposal? What was that? That was shit. What do you want? I need chocolate. I mean, vanilla frosting's got that white wedding cake vibe, so it doesn't really matter. I just need chocolate. Did you guys buy your home before or after he proposed? We bought this house in... April. It was April? right after busy season, yeah. Yeah, we bought it. I mean, we bought this house, Kira. We mean, we. <laughs> Preston, what here? I got $10. It's like this video where, like, have you ever seen the meme of the guy, the broke, it, how a broke guy acts when his white when his girlfriend's buying him shit? Like, what, what, what do you mean we bought it, Kira? We're, we're, does Preston have any money? And if so, why didn't Hannah take half that shit? In April, and we got engaged in June 29th. Are you guys going to wait to get married, or will- June 29th, holy shit. Holy. It'll be a short engagement. It will definitely be, I wouldn't say quick, because where we live in Utah, people get married within like six months. I say short, but I think it's actually pretty average, like a year. I definitely think we want a- If you wait a year, you guys aren't getting married. And you know what? It's gonna happen. I promise you they're not gonna get married. They're going to be well broken up before they get married. I guarantee it. My gut says it's not. And you know what? Maybe they're just going to stick together because like of like, a, you know, they want to just stick it to people for having that. But there's no way this shit's going to last. No way. Look at the amount of booze on your counter. You think this marriage is going to last? A smaller wedding. I think we in the past couple of years have gone through so much change and not just with each other, but like in life that we both like really have changed our perspective. Both. We both have changed in the past year. Yeah, you both cheated on your spouses. That's what you did. You're so gross, Kira. What do people don't like me? It's weird. Why am I getting ratioed all the time? What am I? <laughs> because, Kira, look at you! Give on just like friendships and valuing, valuing relationships and stuff. And uh, so. You value relationships? Is that how you call this? Valuing relationships? Why does she say these things? This is the problem, Kira. When you say, like, we value our friendships and our relationships, do you? Because everything you do says otherwise. You don't even have any friends left. You're going to get married, Kira, and nobody is going to be at your wedding on your side. Maybe even, I think Preston doesn't even have any friends. Maybe some football buddies. I don't even think his parents are going to be there. And if they are, they're going to be like, mm. nobody's going to go there. Nobody even goes, nobody will be there, Kira. You're going to have to pay people to be there. <laughs> I think when it comes to size of wedding, we feel very little pressure on who does or doesn't come. And it's... <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> We feel very little pressure on who, because nobody's going, Kira. So right now she's setting it up, right? She knows nobody's going to come. She's like, there's no pressure. Well, no one's going anyway, Kira. That's why, because look at you. You're a dingleberry. It's just like people in our immediate circle. If you haven't talked to them in a year, circle. don't invite them. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what your mom wants, what your dad wants, what your uncle wants. Right. Like what days they can do it, what days they can't do it. Like, yeah. I think a lot of people are going to be kind of surprised because they got an invite to the last one. And then, uh, Wait, the last one? Yeah, like I, I had a garden party one time. Oh, she, he's talking about his wedding to Hannah. And she's like, what are you talking about? Your last one. Well, did you think he was going to say? He got married. Some people still honestly believe they weren't married. They were married. So this is what they're doing. They're setting this whole thing because they know no one's going to go. If you haven't talked to anybody in a year, they're not coming. Well, they don't want to go. Asshole. They haven't talked to you in a year. Why would they go to your wedding? You're going to send a bunch of invites out. And I hope people send, I hope people send back 
an RSV saying no thanks with dog shit in it. That's what I hope. I hope you get literal piles of dog shit on the return messages saying, why would I come to your wedding? You guys are assholes. No thanks. No, you weren't invited. That's where my boobs too small to say. That's real funny. You weren't invited to my last wedding that you broke up. What are my boobs too? F- yeah, I didn't invite you to my wedding because your boobs were too small. What are you saying, Kira? <laughs> Why is that funny? So you just admitted you got $15,000 sag-ass boobs for this guy. That's what you admitted. Like, you paid fifteen grand for these. I'm just saying. How did he choose a pro ring instead of... Why are you saying... Just say his f***ing name! traditional this is a really good question i did also talk about this in my last video when we first started talking i like she sent me a picture of the ring and it was just like a it was very dainty very oh so she did pick the ring out okay when we first started talking, she sent you pictures of engagement rings to buy her? That's really weird. Why was she sending you pictures of engagement rings when you first started talking? Because when you first started talking, that's when you were married to Hannah. It's really interesting that you said that. I don't think these people are understanding what they're saying. And Kira smiles with her mouth because she's like, yeah, look at her eyes. Tiny, it was literally just a gold band with a pearl on it and nothing else. And I like that, but I also like the two like kind of diamonds on the side and so i this guy's no idea saying <laughs> i kind of like the thing with the thing and i could you didn't know shit she bought that shit with her own money picked it up herself and gave it to you and said this is what we're doing that's what happened Basically, you can't convince me otherwise who would propose to this person who ew hey this is what i want like can you make this and like oh yeah we'll go make it like it's just do you really like simple. it simple yeah i love it what's his no, you don't you don't like it Sun sign. I know you're a Scorpio. Do you know your, what, what is it called? Scorpio? My sign? What, your sign? I'm Pisces. Are we compatible on the? No, nobody's compatible with you, Kira. You know who you're compatible with? Satan. That's who you're compatible with. According to the really sun. Oh are Pisces and Scorpio compatible? You don't know either, huh? No, it's just that Who the hell's that over there? Did she just say that? Scorpio's don't get along with anybody. She's like, oh my god, that's me in a nutshell. I hate everybody. No, Kira, it's the opposite. Everybody hates you. What is your plan after the wedding? Go, in, go on a dream honeymoon and get so pregnant. Look, she just, this was a question for Preston. And she's doing this because she knows that people are going to be upset. Right? But no one gives a shit, Kira. You're to the point where you, we know what you're trying to do. Right? Go get pregnant then. Go for it. Just know that you're selfish. And you know what? It could kill you. But go for it. Maybe yeah, you can make videos about that. I want my pregnancy test to blow like, up. You want there to be three lines on a pregnancy oh, test. Oh, four and a half, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I could almost die, but let's joke about it. <laughs> That's why I'm going back to that video where they talked about it in the past. I think that honestly, and only Oscar really knows this, and maybe even Oscar doesn't know this, but maybe Kira was lying. That's what I'm saying. For clicks and views. Because we know what she, we know the link she'll go to to be happy and do what she wants and to cheat and everything else. She's a liar. We know she's a damn liar. Okay, maybe she was lying then. Because that type of drama and medical drama to your channel is good. It's lucrative. So maybe she was lying. That's what I'm saying. Because if, if honestly, truly, if you knew you could possibly die, would you do it? And if you really love this woman, Preston, like if you loved anybody, anybody out there, and they and they could possibly die from having a baby, would you literally be like, well, no, we're not doing that? What are you saying? <laughs> Lots of passion is what it says. That is so accurate. Yeah. Is it accurate? Passion to ruin your family? Lots of passion. passion for booze? Passion, seductive, sensual, romantic, kinky. Wow. Wow, there it is. <laughs> that's all the one that's just kinky. You're just in the kinks. And you got kink on all you got kink all over your chin that's not coming off. That's <laughs> cool, right? Whoever's at their house, those are the only two people that are going to be able to go to their wedding. Shut up! No. You sound like a turkey on steroids. Can you relax? Something toxic or like deathly or divorce You know what? I'll talk to you about it after. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Probably the highest divorce rate. Kiri, do you think you're really going to just continue? You're going to just. This is going to be happy-go-lucky for us. Do you think even Kira believes that shit's just going to be great? <laughs> Kira knows that shit is like ticking time bomb. We are, and we're all, and the, and, the, and the thing that makes her the most mad is that there are people, literally thousands of people waiting for her to crash and burn. That makes her so angry. When you've got that many haters, it's and you know that shit's about to crash and burn, I can't even imagine the stress you're under. <laughs> 
Yes. Most exciting part. About the engagement? Let's do both. Surprise. Both. Do both. There's no L in that word. You and I, I did know you had no clue, which that was really exciting. And we don't believe that you think she had no clue. Oh, we know that she definitely bought the ring. Thing for me. Yeah, big thing for you. I was excited. Like, I was super excited. Okay, I'm sorry, but it looks like you. It looks like bubblegum. It looks ridiculous. That ring is ridiculous. You look silly. It looks like a hemorrhoid. And, and then also, not necessarily selfishly, but arrogantly, like, I knew she was going to like the ring, so I was excited to see her reaction, which... That's because she bought it, dude. I don't know if she said the thing. She literally didn't look at it for like... A no, here's the thing. The thing about the ring and the reason why they keep bringing it up over and over and over again is because this is the one of the things that people made fun of the most. Because if you look at Hannah's engagement ring, it's really nice, right? Look at all these women have nice... Look at the engagement ring that press that Oscar bought her that she kept, by the way. And I kept asking the question, why did she keep it? And somebody, I guess she said she wants to, like something to give to her children, blah, blah, blah. Like, if that ring meant something, then you can pass that down as an engagement ring. But you guys didn't get married. You literally cheated on Oscar and threw your family in the garbage. Now you're going to hand that ring down? Here's a special memoir of our family. What? Give him back the ring. When Oscar finds himself, you know, a new wife and a new family and everything, Kira is going to absolutely implode. It's going to be fun to watch, too. But the reason they keep bringing that ring up is because they need to justify how ugly and shitty it is. And they're like, no, we really like it. Preston, if Preston indeed did pick that out, Preston, look at me. You failed, bro. That thing is uglier than shit. That's what you get your grandmother for Christmas. All right? That, and she loves it. Yo, this is beautiful. Not your fiance. That looks like shit. Because then that day, you looked at it. Yeah, she was literally... Like, take it she turned around right away. Okay, engagement-wise for me was talking about it. I loved the proposal. I loved the ring. I lo What's the proposal? From so far, it was you were at an Airbnb scrolling your phones. That's the proposal. You loved that? The moment, the intimacy, all of it. For me, it was like after we got engaged, we talked about it. And I've never done that yeah. with somebody. That you never talked with somebody? Okay. It was like really special. That was fun. Wow. Especially because we drove to Vic. Excuse me? It's especially dickweed. I guess the next day, so we have six hours in the car. Just to talk about, about it. About yeah, it. that was so fun. What? <laughs> Wedding-wise, what I'm most excited for is just to like, this sounds so like, like, like call you my husband, yeah. not even like the oh, wedding yeah. part. You are not going to be able to call this guy your husband. It ain't going to happen. I'm sorry. Shit is going to hit the fan. You guys are going to have a, 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 a alcohol rage-induced fight one night. Someone's going to get hurt, right? Someone's going to have a bottle cracked open in their head or something like that. There's going to be a girl that's come into the bedroom with you guys, and the shit's going to hit the fan because they're going to blow a blow. It's going to be crazy. If people are wondering why they go to Vegas for them. I think it's because there's a lot of escorts in Vegas that, like, you know, their job is to keep things quiet. They're not. I don't think they're going into the public sphere anymore for... Uh, for the threesome partner, you know what I'm saying? But I was gonna say the same thing. Just be married. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be cool. Good. What's the? I'm just be married. Why? What? You're married. You're basically for all intents and purposes married now. <laughs> like I honestly believe they're just doing this because they think because of the haters. If you're getting married because of your haters, <laughs> you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Eat chocolate cake with you. Was there a moment where you realized before you proposed that you wanted to propose? Just like this is a no-brainer. It just became stupid and regardless of how long it, it's been, it just came like so clear and so stupid of me not to do it, I felt. What the kind of answer is that? Like, like I'm stupid if I don't do this. Yeah. Like, no, you're stupid because you're stupid. You're stupid because you cheated on your wife with her boss. You're stupid because you look like a dumbass. You're stupid because you think you can get away with being a dumbass and have people like you. And you guys became the enemies. You guys became the arch nemesis of regular folk. There's nothing to at all. Yeah, <laughs> basically anything I want, you have. Yeah. Like you're not missing check all the boxes. Well, shit, anything I want, you, you hear what you, you hear what he just said there. Anything daddy wants, daddy gets is what he just said there. You're right. And that's why I got $15,000 boobs and my kids had to forsake the education and the system I want to put them in. But I got the boobs for Preston. They just admitted it. She got boobs for this guy. Oh my God. It's Love Island, baby. I don't know if I've really ever shared this, but we were friends for a long time, as most of you guys know. We know. You weren't friends. You were cheating. You were best friends with Hannah. This was her husband. 
but we didn't actually like hang out or like talk a lot. Like we had fun when we were together, but it was nothing. Any, it wasn't anything crazy. I don't think there was really even a track. Even a camera doesn't want to focus on your shit. To each other? No offense. I really feel like. There was no attraction to each other, but now you guys are absolutely madly deeply in love. So, but there was no attraction initially. Mm, okay. Our love just overnight was full love. Once we were what? Interested in each other more than friends, it was like full on. Kira, you are a piece of shit liar. Stop lying. What do you think? You think we're gonna believe you? Look at your chin. We're not gonna believe you. Okay, we don't. Your zits don't even believe you. I feel like every time Kira lies, she gets a new zit. I remember we stayed in a, a hotel, kind of like after the hotel thing, we kind of flipped switch and it was just like... Wait, what? <laughs> what are they saying? After the hotel thing, the switch just flipped. I finally found a girl that could let me sleep with other women. This is going to be the best marriage ever. Uh, what? What? I've been missing this the whole time. Missing three? What? You know? Yeah. Like, it's not that It's actually such a good timeline yeah. now that you say that. Like, it went from being nervous and awkward yeah. to kind of like... Me helping you out a little bit. And yeah. Me? Did he just say me opening you up a little bit? <laughs> I'm not trying to be dirty or anything. These people are nasty. They're literally talking about the moment they went to Vegas and have threesomes and like explored their sexual whatever desires. And that's what made them fall in love with each other. Exploring sexual desires. Okay. Mary. Yeah. I don't even like. Still to this day, I wish I could explain it. I just don't like. So something you've been missing that just showed up, and you're just like, oh yeah, no, I forgot I ordered this Amazon package. This is a really good. It's something missing just showed up. The thing that's missing shouldn't show up in your wife's best friend. Okay, there's no such thing as the thing that you were missing in someone else. That is someone else's something then. You guys are, I, I can't get over the fact that they're like, yeah, I, we were just, they, we both got in, we both broke up at around the same time, which is just a coincidence, and we both just happened to be in each other's arms and helping each other, and not helping your best friend who was your best friend. This was your best friend's husband, he, was, he wasn't your best friend. He was your best friend's husband, and he's the one you chose to go support through that. Wow. There is so much we don't know, and Kira will never be able to tell it. One day, Hannah's going to spill the beans, and oh my god. Because look at this video Hannah did. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know she's having fun with that. I'm going to answer this. I don't think he has a passion to care for this, but if you want to answer, you can. Can you please share the importance of sex before marriage? Okay. So tomorrow, wait, say August 2nd? Tomorrow, August 2nd, part two. Can you sp share the importance of sex before marriage? The importance of it. Oh, I can't wait to f hear that. I cannot wait. So there you go, everybody. Look at the, the difference between the two videos. So you got Oscar here. I don't think they planned that. I don't think Oscar planned it to like release on the same day as this one. But like, he, just look at it. Just look at the two people. Look at how, if you want to know who's in the wrong and who actually did all the dirty shit and, and, and all the details of it, look at who they are now, right? Look at what the content that Oscar's putting out and being real and honest about this whole relationship thing. And Kira just... Willy nilly moved along like nothing ever happened and is happy go lucky hundreds of bottles of alcohol on her counter Like this is who Kira is now. She's not happy. She's now probably a full-blown alcoholic. That's for sure And and Preston is probably feeding into that That's fine. Do what you got to do But we promise you and we're looking and we're waiting for this to shit for this shit to completely collapse in on itself And I know Oscar doesn't want that for his for his kid's mom but again, when Oscar finds somebody, you know, who is going to love him and be there for him, she is going to not like that. And we're here for it. So anyway, everybody take a deep, deep breath. If you don't do that with me, do it. It feels amazing. You know what else feels amazing? Your support and your... And you guys coming here watching me every day and having fun with me and sending me videos and saying, check this out. I love that we got this community together. It's really, really cool. So thank you for that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being amazing. Don't you forget people need you in their lives. And don't be like Kira, okay? Make sure you, if you have herpes on your chin, just get looked at. It could be dangerous. I also have a question. Why is it when I make like two fried eggs? That's like, that's plenty of eggs, right? 
But when I do scrambled eggs, I need like 85 eggs to make the same amount of eggs. What is that all about? Right? I know everybody has the same question. But I will see you when I see you. <laughs>